through the partnerships with the folks at Fairpoint, it's been great because not only at a, the high school campus, high school, middle school, and tech center, we've been able to have all of our sending school districts uh, have equal broadband uh, availability for our, our students and, and our teachers and our schools. This is important. I'm going to explain to you how to hand it in. You're going to go to publish, and there might be another option about uh, fixing the title page or putting a new image on, but you're going to eventually come to this page. We're going to email these, okay? We're making children's books, and right now we're looking for pictures online and stuff like that, and we're looking for the information online. We're handing it in online. We're doing most of the project is based online. It is lightning fast. Like I, this project is due at the end of class, and it's very easy to get it done with the internet. I went to New Mexico where I worked in a literacy program. I worked with elementary students, and they were um, they needed reading partners and reading mentors. So once a week, an adult reads a book like this to one of the kids, and then the kids um, talk about what they learned from the book. Um, we're continuing that work um, with two of our high school students. Uh, who are reading each week to kids in Santa Fe using Skype or FaceTime and um, so they read a book like this and then they um, discuss it with the child um, or the group of kids and then they um, hopefully we're, we're hoping that these kids will then maybe read to them in Spanish since they're now taking a Spanish class. In my physics class he's moved toward a uh, teaching style that really revolves around this website called Haiku and um, there's a link to it right here right from the website, it's Haiku Learning Management System, and it's not just physics, but several of my classes are now using this website. Uh, it's sort of a forum where the teachers and students can share information, they can upload documents, and students can do different assignments online, they can turn in assignments online. Not only has the internet speed and quality been improved, but so has the uh, hardware at the school. You know, we've had tech upgrades. Uh, the school's been purchasing iPads in recent years, which I think has been a really good improvement. Again, it gives us easier, constant access to online resources, which are a really important part of today's learning. So it's become a, not just a, what we would say a luxury, but actually day-to-day, hour-to-hour, minute-to-minute uh, requirement for us to really function well mm -hmm. as a uh, middle school in the 21st century. And, uh, so it's really kind of opened uh, the door to student experience, not just reading uh, from a text, but actually speaking to a student in France or in Thailand. It has revolutionized. Our student information system is network-based, it's, it's internet-based. All students now have email that they didn't have before. The other big thing would be wireless. Uh, we're fully capable of wireless throughout the campus now. I yep. can use my phone now to do our help desk help desk tickets. Um, we have roughly over a thousand connections wow. daily. Um, iPhones, iPods, and iPads, and laptops on the wireless alone. Everything's faster and I see we've seen a lot more use of online databases that we subscribe to and the great thing about it is that the kids can go home and access their databases. The internet is a big part of that though. We introduce them to the databases at school, and then they can go home and use them. Uh, people are getting and signing on to the Fairpoint at home. Uh, we've expanded the broadband here at work. Uh, our lifestyle now includes as many handheld devices as possible. Mm -hmm. All the rest of our schools and our communities have now become hubs for the communities. Mm -hmm. It's not out of the ordinary to drive by our school parking lots at night on weekends and see students, families. Uh, logging on with uh, laptops and handheld devices just to access the internet uh, to work on projects for school.